We have a question from David, and this is a question I get a lot. What would you use as a fitness test for police departments, pre-hires, and academy graduates? Well, it would be different. It, there wouldn't be no marathon running. Uh, mine would involve probably a series of barriers, uh, maybe an obstacle course. So you'd have a series of, you know, um, front yard fence fences you'd have to jump over. Not, well, however you get over, scale over. And then a chain link fence of about 10 or 11 feet. Uh, there'd be some kind of thing where you'd have to pick up something and carry it. And maybe, you know, I don't know, 150 pounds. You'd have to pick it up, carry it. Um, and then some kind of thing where you have to make a, a dash and then do something physical. To start it off, so yeah, it would be an obstacle coursey kind of thing. But I think for if you're a police officer, uh, this comes from my cousin who's a kind of a famous SWAT officer, you know, chain link fences are very important to get the bad guy because they jump over them. Uh, getting over fences is important. Uh, I like the idea of do what we call them lift and sprints, where you do like eight goblet squats followed by a sprint because much of what police officers have to do is change change gears. Uh, you might be sitting in your car happy as can be writing, writing up a nice person like me a parking ticket because, you know, it's Salt Lake City. And then all of a sudden, they'll leave out of the car and go chase a bad guy. Um, so for me, it would have some kind of test like that where, you know, you'd have to do... Well, you, that's how we, I would train you up. But uh, I would love to see a, a, a real obstacle course. I don't know how many uh, police officers ever have to do monkey bars. But I know a lot of them have to get over fences. And I know a lot of them have to pick stuff up and carry it. So something that would do those kinds of things. Um, for time or for finish, I don't care which one it would be. Uh, uh, okay, for time is when you put a time on it. For finish is something too where you have a series of things and then you kind of qualitative judge the candidate, which is actually something I think is much more valuable. You know, if it takes somebody an hour and a half to finish something that everybody else finishes in a minute or two, that's an indicator. But if the person um, is, uh, you know, gets to the 200 pound dummy and struggles to carry it, but gets the dummy safely to where it is, I, I wanna make sure that gets rewarded too. David, I hope that helped, and uh, I'll talk to you all again soon.